All right, in this video, we're going to do uh, our last step, and that's going to be an extraction, and we're going to use the uh, Pegasus tool in Qantas. So the first thing we need to do is have a Pegasus ready LVS, or sorry, an extraction ready LVS. And so we're going to go to Pegasus, run LVS. Here we can set most of the things up as we did in our last Pegasus run, but we have a couple of things that we need to change. Primarily, our output, we need to uh, create a Qantas input data, uh, and we're going to call this uh, SVDB. It's the default. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. And it's going to nest this under the uh, LVS directory uh, where we're running our project. All right, beyond this, we need to uh, check a couple of things. Uh, so for our extract options, we're going to set some net names. Uh, our supply and ground nets are named VDD and VSS respect respectively. And we need to uh, check a few options uh, as shown here on our comparison options page. With that, everything should be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and submit and the job will run. And we'll come back in just a moment when it's finished. All right, as expected, because we've run this before, it is LVS clean. Uh, everything matches or no conflicts or anything uh, like that. Uh, so we can go ahead and close this and we can go ahead and close out Pegasus. Now we're going to go to Qantas, run Pegasus Qantas. The defaults here should be okay. These have to do with the fact that we just ran, uh, the, ran and created a database uh, for Qantas from Pegasus. We're going to hit okay. And it's going to bring up a, a few menus. Uh, we can go through these menus. Most of them it should actually default to uh, correctly based upon your uh, LVS run, uh, but you can go through and uh, check things. Uh, we are going to make an extracted view uh, and we do want the view name to be AV underscore extracted. This will distinguish it from if we were using another extraction tool like Caliber. Uh, in the extraction, we're going to do an RC type extraction. We could do R only, C only, uh, or if our kit supported it, uh, inductance and, uh, and or uh, mutual inductance. Uh, or we can do none, and this is often used just to check the extraction to make sure that the flow works. Uh, we're going to leave uh, the namespace as the schematic names. Our reference node is going to be VSS. Uh, this is just basically going to be whatever your ground net is. And we're going to do uh, full chip all nets. Of course, any of these things can be customized to reduce the uh, net list uh, if you uh, need to, uh, just because it might be uh, quite big. One of the other things that we need here are the H cells from the PVS kit. Uh, they're pointed to here. I'm not sure if those were set up automatically or not, but you might need to set them up. Uh, we might want to do some filtering of our net list. So for instance, if we have parallel resistances, it's often uh, will reduce the size of the net list just by merging those. Uh, we can get rid of dangling resistors that don't uh, go to any net. Um, we uh, can uh, do things to reduce the parasitics we're not going to in this particular net. A net list, uh, we can set a minimum uh, resistance. Uh, here it's set as 1 milliohm. Seems like a good value for now. We can set a min uh, capacitance. Uh, right now this is set as 0.01 femtofarads or 10 autofarads. Uh, and uh, we can also merge uh, uh, parallel gates using this M factor R. Uh, here I have it set at one ohm. Uh, that's not likely to uh, be commonly used in a large digital logic block like this, but cer in certain analog blocks that might be used. Uh, we have our power nets, VDD, uh, ground net, VSS. Uh, and I believe for the most part, everything should be ready to run at this particular point. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we can watch the log file uh, if you get uh, a little bit bored. All right, we'll be back in just a few moments to see uh, what the result of the, of the extraction is. All right, as you can see, the extraction run completed. We now have a view AV extracted available for our cell. Let's take a look at it. Going to the library manager.
and here's our view. We can open this up, it should just look like a schematic netlist. Or in our case, just a schematic. All right, so one of the things that you can see with the extracted view is that it looks very similar to a schematic view. Uh, and uh, here it is. Now, depending upon the size of the extracted view, these can be several hundred megabytes to a few gigabytes. Uh, uh, it can take quite a while to open. You almost never need to open this. Uh, and in fact, if you're doing a purely digital design, there's almost no reason to ever do a full AV extracted view. Uh, you can do your simulations using the uh, AMS uh, tool flow, which is a mixed signal tool flow that simulates your digital blocks uh, as uh, functional or logic based blocks. Uh, and uh, you don't need to have the full RC extraction that you have with the AV extracted view. On the other hand, it can be nice to verify that your fun that your schematic works or your layout works with all the parasitics associated with the layout uh, due to the metallization, uh, the resistance and capacitance that it entails. All right, so we're done uh, for this time. Next time we'll show you uh, how to set up a simulation using the AMS uh, tool flow.